a bit of a lull while the uh, supporters off the ground here. They've had to come across to our side of the ground, the western side of the ground, to listen to the coaches at a quarter time. And the uh, standing room is on the eastern side of the ground, so they're just shuffling off now. Luke Wilson had a good first term in the ruck for Anarchy. He's going to go up against Aaron Taylor. So start the second term. Haneke 7 3 45. They lead try one straight six. Pye throws the ball in the air. And Wilson gets it down nicely to Phyllis, who got the first kick away towards Kenyon. And also coming out, McEwen Walsh. He might end up with a Kenyon 50 out. He measures the pass towards Sluggett over the head of a couple. Falls in the arms in the end of. Uh, well, comes back to McEwen Walsh in the end from uh, Connor Kent. Goes close to the boundary line. High kick. Very high kick. And uh, just lands in the field of play. And then. Goes out of bounds. So left forward pocket. Anarchy kicking to the southern end in this second term. They'll have a boundary throw in. Rich Taylor and also Lewis will do the ruck work as he's stationed in the uh, forward line for Anarchy. Throwing it in. Taylor gets it down. Gerard Brad gets it back. Close to 50. Kenyon picks it up. Gives it away to Ebel. Kick around the corner. Punched away defensively by... Carayo. Might be enough. Is it over the line? I think it is. And uh, that Monkovich with the punch over the line for the Devils. So boundary throwing. Still about 30 metres out from the... Selwood not playing tomorrow too. Anarchy goal. Oh, fantastic. So the ball uh, still in dispute. Laurie tried to get the handball up. He did in the end of Seddon who runs with a kick and just pumps it towards the middle of the ground. Open there. Butcher comes back. Burke comes into Butcher and puts him off the footy. But Carrickside was across there for Anarchy as well. He gets it away quickly, and they get the kick from Goodwin. Out wide, it might be okay. Handball came from Cockrell. Off a step, Wilson goes towards centre wing. Good play by Smith, who chopped it off for Cry, but he needs to some support out there. He kept his feet, and the Anarchy boys might be able to get it through. Gerrard's, his little handball back was okay in the end. Connor Kent goes wide over the head of Cameron. Can he keep it in? He just can't, but he got to pushed off the footy, and that's holding the ball, said the umpire. And Cry will take the free kick in between the back pocket and half back on the outer side. And it's going to be Saddington with the free. Goes to Laurie. Handball's over the top. Might be all right. The kick out wasn't okay from Hope McEwen. He turned it over. The Roos, are they called to play it? Oh, well, wasn't called to play on. Bit lucky there, I think, because I think he was off. So the Roos have it. Left half forward. Inside 50, Laurie reads it the better for Carayo, and he'll hold it up. Two and a half played, second term, and they go now through Seddon again. He goes towards the middle of the ground, but chopped off by Cockrell. He can switch it to Butcher if he finds him. He can't. He sort of had a look, but he's, uh, Butcher's picked up now. So he goes short towards centre wing. Abel takes the mark. So Carayo just uh, filtering back here. There's only two Carayo players four to where the football was and Seddon was one of them behind it and he took the mark but I think it was a block to Anarchy so McEwen Welsh will take it he handballs it away quickly now they go Phyllis inside 50 wide towards Brad Girardi can't keep it in and we'll have a boundary throw in about 30 around from the Ruse goal three played second term 7-3-45 Anarchy cry one straight six how come Selwood's not playing Saunas General Saunas oh, good old General Saunas yeah just a a ball thrown back in now by the umpire in the forward line. It's Grace down there. Or Taylor, sorry, did the work with Lewis. Tried to take it out of the contest. Get it out the back. They're picked up by Phyllis. Got the handball away. Chris Laurie intercepted the ball. Now on hands and knees. Needs to release it. Has boy, actually threw that out. Umpire's allowed it to go on. And it's going to be a ball up to take place. Inside forward 50 for Anarchy. So thrown up now by the umpire. They get the ball out the back. Goes towards... Dart, he tries to force his way out. Umpire says it's taken too long, so he comes in now and takes the ball from that player. And another ball up takes place. Taylor knocks the ball out. Gerard, he's tackled and brought to ground. And again, I think the umpire will come in very quickly and have another ball up. So this will be the third space of about 30 seconds in the same position. Thrown up by the umpire once again. And the umpire... For the fourth time, we'll come in and have another ball up. So 
thrown up in that contest this time. Phyllis tries to force his way through. Umpire says he got rid of the ball incorrectly. Free kick will go to Carayo. And it's Jeremy Large that takes the free kick and he goes towards centre wing. Regal just uh, patrolling the area. Brings the ball back inside. Mark taken by White. Handballs off. Goes to Butcher. Puts the ball into the half forward line again. Too much weight on it. Picked up by Smith. Right around the oncoming traffic. Kicked along. Went looking for Burke. Tries to push his uh, team, no, or his, his opponent away from the ball. Picked up by Butcher. He's uh, back in there working hard. Carrick say comes out of the contest. Goes to Phyllis. Player inside. Weagle has that player. Went outside further afield. And it was too cockerel. Went further afield and by hands. And it's gone and a kick into the forward line. And the mark will be taken out there. And that's a man we spoke about in the first quarter, Mitch Gavin. And he will go back and he will take the free kick and or mark, which he did. Plays on, goes quickly into Phyllis, and he also takes the mark in a better position. So Jamie Phyllis now, 35 out. So Jamie Phyllis now with the ball, comes in. First shot of the second quarter for Anarchy, kicks a goal. Looks okay, but it's going to drift across and through for a minor score. Jeremy Phyllis with 1-2. And Anarchy now 7-4. They lead Corio one straight goal. We've gone six minutes. Second quarter. Common Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Chris Laurie. He'll kick it in for the Devils. Plays on from full back. Comes towards the commentary box side to half back. Cullen's there. Burke's there. Off hands at the front. Falls past about three players. Gerard to run onto it. He can't take it. Flacavento put his head over the footy. He couldn't take it either. The umpire will come in and ball it up. That's 40 out from the Cryer goal. Oh, sorry, from the Anarchy goal. Wilson goes up. He doesn't really get it down though. Burke's handball. Was chopped off. Dart was in there as well. Umpire said play on. Pack develops around him. And the umpire will come in and ball it up again. So Taylor, Wilson. So up now, Wilson goes up. Now well, he does his own roving work. Taylor was there as well. He couldn't take it with him. Wilson threw it out towards Gerard. He can handball it back to Edwards just on the ground. Still at half forward. Kick over the shoulder towards uh, the top of the square. Wilson just creates some space. Nobody can pick it up. Seddon can. Tries to break free. Gets around one. Gets around two. Got some space now and goes to the right foot. Kick out wide. A long lead. Oh, nearly hit the target too, but Weagle got that back there as well. Ems got there for Carayo, but now Weagle controls it back to the middle. Does nicely. Evil takes the mark. Uncontested, needs to kick it to the outer side. He goes in that direction or sets it on top of Phyllis's head. He can't take the mark. Dart in front for Carayo. Handballed it away. Seddon got out of trouble. Cross half back. Kick around the corner towards the middle. Punched away by Carrick Say. Now Cockrell. Oh, he rode the bump. I reckon he might have hatched it. He had that for a long time. The umpire said, Punts. Centre wing out of side. Free kick. Going to come back to Burke. So he's on centre wing. Shane Burke. Goes the left foot kick to centre half forward. Grace comes out. Can't take the mark. Off the back of the pack. Devils got some time. Or oh, handball over the top might be okay. Kick around the corner's okay. And the goal has come through Jeremy Large. So he kicks his first. And the second for Karaya. They go to two straight 12. They trail Anarchy 7 4 46. Common Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, nine minutes played. Well, that was better, Jase, because they're getting a contest. They're making a contest of everything. And as I said, when the ball's in their better players' hands, like I think uh, Seddon's had it twice in the back line, but he's kicked it 55 to 60 metres out, and it's given their players further up the ground a bit of an opportunity, and they start presenting to and getting to know how he plays, then they'll know where to run. But at the moment, that was a good bit of work. As I said, they worked hard for it, but they got the ball in, they persisted, and they've got their second goal of the game. So... Uh, 
let's hope they can go on from here. So the ball back with the umpire in the middle of the ground. This time it's uh, Wilson up over the top, picked up there. Kenyon got the handball away. Burke's in there working hard. He got the handball back towards centre wing. Went towards Lewis, got support out there. Evil runs onto the ball. Dart takes him in the tackle. Ball comes out. Picked up in there and cleared away by Mitch Grace. He goes back into the half forward line. This is Anthony Grace now. It's got the ball. Got the handball outside. Went towards Seddon, waiting for the ball to come up. He's now picked the ball up, got the handball over the top to Grace. That was oh. good, but missed the target as he ran past. Unfortunately, the ball has gone over the boundary line and will be thrown back in just outside their forward 50. So their efforts have been good in this second quarter. It's gone about 10 minutes, and uh, they've been able to maintain it for that full 10. It's thrown back in now by the umpire, and uh, it's t brought back to the front of the contest. Over the top, Gerard and umpire will come in as the ball's not coming out. Another ball up to take place. Taylor doing the ruck work. This time Wilson gets the ball down, goes to Gerard. They try to work the ball out of the contest. Umpire says there's a free kick, incorrect disposal, so it's going towards Smith of Corio. So Smith handballs out, has Seddon. Looking for some options, goes quickly into the forward pocket, a little bit too much on the ball, and over the top, out of bounds on the full, free kick will go to Butcher of Anarchy in the back pocket. So it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. They go short. Kenyon has the ball. They bring it across the face of goal. Dangerous, but okay. Mark is taken out there. Is that Wilson? Yep. Goes around the boundary, dangerous kick, but it's also going to be working okay because White has now taken the mark. Goes back by hand to Wilson. Similar position where he had it before. He looks short, goes to the top, sees Gerard. Across the field they go. So they're going to open it up now with Butcher. Plenty of time to run, but he's been held up. Large, and as uh, the umpire must have called play on because he's uh, been kicking the ball now and quickly, and the mark has been taken by Lewis. Seems to be playing on the wing, is he, Jace? I think. Who's that? Lewis. Is he playing yeah, well, he does seem to be high up, doesn't he? Yeah. He slug it down there and also fill us, so yeah. So the ball now goes quickly into the half forward line for Anarchy, runs towards the boundary line. Mitch Grace leads in the race of the ball, picks the ball up. He looks back towards centre wing, ball. Ah, good mark out there. And it was Seddon once again. So Seddon now plays on, comes towards the centre forward position. Dart was set a bit of a, char a task there. Ball kicked off along the ground, picked up by Lewis again, didn't have the ball. He was tackled without it. And a free kick will go to Justin Lewis. Lewis now with the ball, gives the handball across to Gerard. Little short kick up over the top, went looking for McEwen Walsh. Couldn't take the mark. Wright had the ball, he was tackled. Ball comes out in the tackle. Now it's kicked along the ground. Umpire says it's going to be a ball in to take place on the centre wing club room side of the ground. We've gone over 12 minutes in the second quarter. It is Corio, who are two straight goals. They trail Anarchy 7-4. So boundary throw in. Centre wing on the other side. Lewis and Taylor. Taylor gets it down with the left hand. Roped by the ruse. Had it for a long time. The umpire says held in. Another, another ball up. Only scored one behind so far. Anarchy in this second term. Ball up now. Taylor gets it down. Ed, uh, Gerard gets it down with the handball. Was he, uh, I think he was held on to a bit longer there. Advantage paid, so they're out at Anarchy. Go inside, McEwen Welsh used the body, pushed his opponent past the footy. Now he goes to the left foot kick, and he misses. He's kicked one goal, one this afternoon. 7 5, 47. Anarchy, cry two straight, 12. 13 played, second term. Common Defense Hotel scoreboard. Chris Laurie wait for the footy to come back from the car park. Playing the zone. The Anarchy boys in defense here. Plays on from full back to the outer side. Right foot kick along outside 50. Oh, no mark taken. That was said and went up against a couple, unfortunately. I don't think it was it touched. Maybe it oh we played on, so will be a boundary throw in on the outer side. They're already out there, the Ruckman too. The 227's Grace going up, up against Lewis. Throw in. Lewis over the back. Couldn't take it with him. Handball hold over the shoulder, said the umpire. Free kick to Anarchy. Phyllis, handballs it away to Wilson, high handball, he just gets the kick away under pressure, inside 50, McEwen Welsh comes out, can't take the mark, his second effort was pretty good, he handballed it away quickly, under pressure, good tackling, now Gerard gets it back to 
McEwen Walsh from 50. Kick inside towards Sluggett. Held his body. Couldn't quite take the mark. He worked, did everything but take the mark. And now the ball's pushed through for a rush behind for the visitors. They are 7 6 48. They lead Cry two straight 12. 14 and a half played second term. So Shedden now goes down to do the kicking in from the full back position. Plays on, runs his distance, takes a bounce. From the half back line now, kicks towards centre wing and beyond. In front, mark not taken by Taylor, brought to the front of the contest. Anarchy with the numbers, ends up in the hands of Weagle, gets in and out of trouble. Got boot to ball, quick kick into the forward line with Chris Laurie. Nice clean pick up. So they go back outside towards Taylor. Mark is not taken there. Butcher taps it towards Wilson. Wilson gets the handball away. So they run from defence now. Went to Gerard. They couldn't uh, couldn't take clean possession, but it's White that's kept the ball in front of himself. He's left it behind now. Right, good clean pick up. Went back and collected on the left boot. Looks to go towards the half forward line. Goes to. Uh, the forwards, but it runs past Carrick. Say first one to get back goes by hand to Gerard. Gerard looks back inside, kick not directed well, but Phyllis is there to clean up. Goes to Gerard this time, and uh, that was uh, Brad. Handballs over the top, going towards Andrews now from the centre wing. Looks some some options, and he will go long into the forward line. So Edwards into the forward line. McEwen Walls tapped it on nicely, runs towards goal. They get back. Cryo handball over the top had to be good and was. So they come from defence, little short kick. They've made good work of it. Ends up in the hands of Grace from the half-back line. He's looking at his options towards centre-half forward. Goes towards Taylor. Out the back. Ball comes through. Picked up there. Burke gets the handball over the top. And it was going to be held up now as the uh, handball went to the Anarchy opposition. And Gerard, and he was tackled quickly. Umpire was in and called for the ball up. So Wilson back there and Taylor. Wilson up over the top. Gets the ball to Butcher. Little boot to ball. Didn't clear the contest though. And now players on top of it converge. So put the ball in the air again. Thrown up. Picked up. Phyllis put his head down over the contest. Couldn't get clean possession. Ems comes out of the contest. A little bit of a ride in the back there. Would have thought should have been a free kick. So working hard, Cario. Oh, that was nicely done. Ends up in the hands of Large. He kicks around the body, goes back towards the full four position. Weagle will come up over the top and stand no one. He'll just take the mark and he'll settle things down for Anarchy. Plays on now and goes towards centre wing. Mark will be taken out there. And it's Cameron. So Cameron now kicks the ball towards centre wing. And Mark is also out there and it's been taken by Rhodes. Rhodes. He's just kicked the ball back inside, back to Weagle, who's followed down again without any opposition. Oh. Kicks into the forward line, low and flat. Mark wasn't taken, or that was a free kick for a push in the back. And that was a little bit uh, heavy in the tackle. Not too sure who that one is either. Smith. Number 12. Well, that's Jamie Large. Uh, yeah, that's the other Large. That's it. I knew I had miss, missed one of them. So Jamie Large was a little bit... Uh, Aggressive in the tackle, so the free kick will go, as we said, to Anarchy in the forward line. Another short kick, player, lead up player with McEwen while she comes out and takes the mark. So McEwen Walsh now from about 30 metres out, almost directly in front. Will come in, has one, sorry, has two for the afternoon. Kicks at goal. Looks okay off the boot. And the umpire says he now has his third. No, I'm going to go for two. Uh, I might have mucked up. Oh, it might be two goals, one. It is. Yeah, it is. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Eight, six now to the Anarchy <laughs> side. Two goals straight, Correa. We have gone 18 minutes, second quarter. Come on, Fane Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Parking Grubby's not here. Uh, must be uh, must be a bit of breeze up at Bell Post Hill. North Geelong, 7 3 45. Lead Bell Post Hill, 1 6 12. Oh, jeez. Bang. And uh, Bannock, uh, Bannock Burn on top, 7 4 46. Lead East Geelong, 2 2 14. And Belmont are coming back, 5 4 34. They trail where it be, 7 4 46. Oh, maybe there is a breeze ever. Two goals yeah. at the resort. Bathed in sunshine here at the uh, Viva Energy Oval. Perfect weather for footy. A little bit of a breeze. And they get their first goal of the second term. Anarchy. Wilson gets it down nicely to Phyllis. Back to Wilson. Back to Gerard through the middle. He goes with a left foot kick. A Welsh comes out again. Takes the mark. Well, play on to the umpire. Jeez, I thought he took it. Gerard. Brad. Can't take it with him. Then he hatches it. Oh, umpire says he got rid of it in the end. Phyllis runs through without the football. 
Ball spills free across half-back for Carayo. They break free somehow, and they get through. McEwen gets it away to Grace. Anthony off a step, long kick. Full forward, Burke. Can't take the mark. At the back of the pack, or oh, handball was chopped off. Might be okay here. They work hard, and I've, oh, Dart kicks it across the face of goal. And through for one behind. I don't even know where his name is on this list now. Oh, there he is. Jeremy Dart, one behind. 2-1-13. Carayo, Anarchy, 8 6 54. 19 and a half played second term. Now the Roos will kick it in. They play on quickly. Michael Gerard short, but they go further. Probably should have gone there because they turned the ball over. It was a terrible kick. Played on quickly and they get around. Out of uh, danger. Back towards the goals. Butcher. Who was, the who was the kicker to start with. This time, oh, he nearly turned it over again. Grace might come in, make some trouble for Carayo. The, uh, the Ruse trying, oh, that, that's, that's just full, a, it? That's out on the full, kicks off the uh, ground. The Anarchy player there, which I think was good when it was. So, um, the free kicks with M's for Carayo. And not without a chance here in the pockets. They're uh, pretty shallow, so... He's only about 35 out. He seems to have the breeze at his back, so he comes in. Left foot kick. That was a terrible kick off the boot, but anyway, across the face of goal. Weagle just wants to get it out of there, so he slams it on the boot outside 50 and sets a task, which is okay for uh, Pope, who runs away, takes a bounce, goes to the right foot kick, open half forward flank. At the back, Connor Kent won't sit for him, so the Devils go the other way. They can get across to the lorry. Has to sit and wait, and then he goes with a kick towards him. It was a good kick, too, and good vision. Laurie, Trey. Oh, that was the little kick around the corner. Might be okay. Dart picks it up. Has to get around three. He just get the handball away. Grace. Anthony runs without it. Now the ball at the back of the pack. Anarchy have the numbers if they can pick it up. They're under pressure, though. The Devils keeping it on over the shoulder, said the umpire. So they let the pressure valve off there. Carayo. And Gerard will take the free kick. He goes backwards and out towards Wilson. Inside defensive 50. Now he goes with a terrible kick. Turned it over. Burke takes the mark. So that's Shane Burke. He plays on. Goes inside 50. Oh, they've turned it over again. And the mark's been paid. Luckily, Michael Gerard. So inside defensive 50. Been paid the mark. Goes towards... Oh, Gerard, his brother, who uh, was a dangerous kick, but they've got the numbers, and they get it towards Kenyon in between wing and half forward. He can kick it up for Phyllis to run on to it inside 50. Doesn't sit for him, though. Third in line was Rhodes. Gets around a couple. Left foot kick. Does it come back with a breeze? You betcha it does. <laughs> so it was a great kick from Mason Rhodes. Just held it up in the breeze there and put it through for his second goal of the afternoon. And the ninth for Anarchy, 9 6 60. They lead Carrier 2 1 13. Common if no tell second quarter scoreboard 22 and a half played. It's a good kick. It was a good breeze. As I said, he, uh, I don't know what he they meant. Both were, to mucking go that way. both were mucking around with the other end, though, weren't they? They were. There's a lot of. Uh, have, well, the, the movement of the ball from Anakin hasn't been as precise as it was in the first quarter, but again, it comes down to that Carrier probably have lifted their work rate, I think, a little bit, and now have uh, applied some, some good pressure. So. In a contest about to take place again, it is Grace up against Wilson. Wilson just taps it down nicely. Interception is by Seddon. Taps it towards centre wing. He's done nicely there. Grace, a little kick along the ground. Went one Grace to the other. And he loads up and goes back towards the goal square. Weagle runs back. He's going to be the first one back. Does he keep it in play? Yes, he does. He goes out wide and the mark will not be taken. It just fell short of Girardi, but he gets it on the first bounce and kicks the ball towards centre wing. Kenyon has the ball now. He goes over the top. Again, goes looking towards Sluggett. It's, he's allowed the ball to run on. Connor Kent runs onto the ball, just needs to take clean possession. Taken off it there by Flacavento. Oh, drives on in. top of it. <laughs> Sluggett's there. He's trying to keep the ball in. Flacavento takes it out of his hand. Gerard just stole it from him. Gets away from the contest. Player outside. Edwards went back between the legs. And it's uh, they put a bit of pressure on themselves here. And it's Connor Kent who's uh, underneath the contest once again. And there will be a ball up just outside forward 50 for the Anarchy side. Back up by the umpire once again. Wilson up over the top. Oh, nice work through there. And that was Mitch Gavin. Couldn't get it out. 
Working hard, Gerard got the ball out wide, a slug it, little boot along the ground. Went looking for, and we'll find Connor Kent, got the handball away. Went back to Mitch Gavin, he couldn't take it cleanly. Coming through was McEwen Walsh, he went back and collected it. Handball goes wide, and I think that's going to be another goal, and it is. And it's Mason Rhodes once again, so he's now got his third. And the 10th for Anarchy there, 10 goals, 6. They lead Corio on 2-1, and we have gone almost 25. Second quarter, come on to Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Just the pressure, wasn't it? Too much. Yes. So, just let the valve off a bit, Corio, in the last three or four minutes. They've been able to kick some goals. Anarchy. The changes by the visitors. Fillers back on it, straight into the middle. Lewis back on forward. Taylor and Wilson. Wilson gets it down. Seddon can't take it with him. Cameron can. Goes towards half forward. And Wall came back to Smith. Oh, he kicked it into his teammates. Uh, back. Now Flacavento under pressure. Got it away quickly. Kick towards the middle. Dart comes back. Takes the mark. Does nicely. Holds it up. Just inside the centre square. At centre wing. He goes out wide looking for Grace. He can't take it. Butcher gets in front of him. Gets away. Gives the 1-2. Cockrell back to Butcher. To the middle. Wilson on the move. Good kick. The big fella takes the mark. Just holds it up now. He goes along with a kick towards McEwen Walsh. He's got the sit. Now works to the front. Didn't take the mark. Off the back of the pack. Handball came to Laurie. He gets it out the back to Flacavento. Chips the ball to Dart. Over his head at half back. He's got a bit of time though. Picks it up, gets a Shepard and goes to the right foot, kick short. It's okay, Gillespie takes it. He chips the ball to Taylor. He can't take the mark. They can't pick it up in the middle. Now they can. Burke got the clearing kick, but only as far as Phyllis. He falls over at the crucial stage. Then he handballs it out towards Edwards. It doesn't sit for him either. Oh, ring a siren. <laughs> it's... It's no good at the moment, both teams. Now running through the middle, Seddon gives it to Taylor. Has to get around a couple, does. Just tries to torp it into the middle of the uh, forward line. And it might be okay in the end. Burke made it better. He wheels around on the left and he goes towards an open good square work. and he kicks the goal. That's a very, very good kick from Shane Burke. He kicks his first and the third for Carayo. They go to 3-1-19. They trail Anarchy 10 6 And that is on the Common Fiend Hotel second quarter scoreboard. 27 minutes played. Persistent pace there, Jase. Well, they, they just look, just look better when they kick the ball long. They just do. kick the ball long. Yeah. They've got a couple of targets up there. Well, as I said, he's, uh, the Burks have always been good for the competitiveness, and that's what they're doing out there today. They're getting to every contest, and if they can't mark the ball, they're at least trying to bring the ball to the ground. And if the players are random, and just be aware of that. They know that they'll get plenty of opportunities once the ball goes in. But again, it's through that, that middle group, and again, Sidden having his hand on the ball, it's just uh, got him to getting them a little bit of value for their money in there. So they've got to keep working now. As I said, not too bad this quarter. Holding their own. Ball thrown up again by the umpire. Ball comes out. Phyllis tried to win it, but it's going to be uh, a free kick to the cryo side in the middle. Phyllis over the top. It's going to go to M. So he gets to his feet quickly and goes with the left foot coming up. And that's a good mark from Grace. So Grace now has the next option. This is the kick that's got to be good. He goes out wide, and that's okay. Mark taken. Is it Smith? Not too sure. Whoever it is, he plays on quickly. It was large, actually. Went quickly back towards the goal square. Not too sure he's going for, but the ball runs through the contest and over the boundary line. And it's thrown back in. So about 15 around from the goal square. Karai with another opportunity here. Burke doing the ruck work. Wilson in front, just taps it down. Quick kick from that position. That was Shane Burke. Had another kick, but didn't travel too far. Hands and leads. The ball is picked up and rushed back towards the goal. And Kenyon says he will just push it through for a minor score. So they're now 3 2 to Cario. 10 6 to the Anarchy side. They play on quickly. And they get the ball back into the middle of the ground. Mark is not taken. Trying to work the ball forward is evil, but coming the other way. The ball is now picked up. And from the defence, the ball was picked up. Who was that? Jason Monkovich, wasn't it? The kick the ball yep. into the forward line. As the siren sounds to end the first half here at Corio, it is 3-2 Corio. They trail Anarchy, who are 10-6. Goal kickers for the Corio side. Shane Burke, 
Trey Laurie and Jeremy Large, all with one and four. The Anarchy side, three to Mason Rhodes, two to 